Why are you looking at me like that? You really think you'll win? Well, yes. You were blind from the beginning. What was it that clouded your vision? My vision. You really think you'll win? I know I will. Look at you. Your arms are bound behind your back. You go to your death. They will beat you and then strip you and flay the skin from your bones before they nail you to this cross. Huh. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting for this for so long. You'll hurt so much. You'll weep for that woman you call your mother, oh, and she'll be right there with you, watching, weeping at the foot of your cross, covered in your blood, oh, crying, oh, my son, my son. <laughs> I don't think I win. I know I have. And what of the prophecies? The messianic, victorious one? A world without the darkness that you bring? What of those? <laughs> What of them? I have you in the grip of my hands. I could crush you right now if I want to. But I won't, because I want it to hurt. I want to watch as the life slowly drains from your body until you beg for mercy. The prophets, the prophets will be proven false the moment you die. And all the hope you've imagined for this world, it'll die with you. You really do think you'll win. Stop saying that. Of course I... Oh, I see. You're starting to believe too. You're starting to see the bitter truth of your predicament. Your pipe dream. Huh. I came to this world to die. <laughs> well, we make the perfect theme then, don't we? I've been chasing you your whole miserable life. I came here to kill you. Oh, I've been searching for the seed to stamp it out, to root out, to root you out, the seed of Jesse, for centuries, thousands of years, no more, a long time. I haven't felt this good in a long time, but today I feel really good. Believe me when I say it will be with much satisfaction when I finally get to watch you go to your death. It's perfect, really. I'll wipe that smile from your face, and today you'll be gone forever. And, and on a cross! Oh, isn't it perfect? Do you know what a cross means to Daddy, right? You know what it means to all those followers of yours? You'll be a curse. You'll be a byword. I gladly embrace my death. <laughs> gladly? I gladly go to my cross. I do it for the glory of my Father. <laughs> Believe what you need. Say what you will. It just makes my work easier. I mean, go like a sheep to the slaughter. Uh, I will admit, it steals some of my fun. I was hoping to have a little bit more resistance. I have my minions on high alert. We were gonna, we were really gonna have some fun today. You won't raise your sword to this world forever, Lucifer. Your time is short. It will run out and then your judgment will come. You will face your curse. <laughs> you can't intimidate me. Heaven has been threatening fire for centuries. Where is it? I don't see it. I will continue to raise my sword once you're gone. You're just the beginning. I will hunt down all those little followers of yours. I will find every last one of them and erase their memory from the earth. They will scream in terror and agony when I steal their hope. Every last one of them, I'll snuff them out. Huh. What? Oh, oh, I see. Don't worry. They'll be in hell with you soon enough. Did you see how they ran tonight in the garden? Oh, it was great. Little, they realized what was happening, and they ran in terror like children in the night, afraid of the wind. 
ready for you to go, Lucifer. Oh, oh, you know, no, it's not going to work like that. No? I'm going to be right here, right in your face until the very end. I'm going to watch it as it leaves your eyes. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be great. But the best part is you really love them, don't you? Who? Those little followers of yours. My disciples? Yes, your disciples. Of course, I love them so much. I'm going to die for them. They're the children of God. <sighs> They're not. They're thieves. They're supplanters. They stole from us. They stole from me. They took my place. Those stupid creatures with love in their hearts and the power to choose. What a fool he was to give them all that power, to give them this world. <laughs> oh, stop. You fear them. No, I don't fear them. You're afraid and you're jealous too, aren't you? I'm not. They're weak. They're stupid. They, they give up everything, all that power, just to feed their bellies, just to feel good in their flesh. I don't fear them. I simply hate them. Why? <laughs> because they remind me of him. You know, I was the one that took away what they had. I was the one that stole it from them. And I'm going to give it back. <sighs> you know, that's the reason I hate you. Hate is a lesser power, devil. You know, you don't believe it now, but you will realize that love is greater. See, my love will make a spectacle of you and conquer your hate. Oh. I enjoy hearing the old party line. It, it, it's so truthful, and I see where you're coming from so much with your hands tied behind your back. Did you think you were going to be here one day with me overlooking you? Did you think you would feel the pain? Oh. Yeah. Just, just lay there. Oh, Father. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, yeah, oh. call out to him. <gasps> Maybe he'll oh. come and save you. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you just tell me? That's why you came. You came here to die, like this, in pain, in an agony. <laughs> oh, I enjoy this moment. Look me in the eye. I see it. I see the truth. What? You're afraid. You're, you're scared of what's going to happen. You've never been a good judge of me, Lucifer. Oh, no. Look me in the eye and tell me that you're not afraid. <clears throat> of course I'm afraid. Of course I have doubt I'm a man. They're about to humiliate me, tear my flesh off my back with their whips. They're going to pierce me with nails in my, my bones and my muscles. Of course I fear that the whole excruciating pain and whether I'll be able to bear it. But I do not fear death. And I do not fear that my death will be in vain. And surely, Lucifer, I don't fear you. Really? I don't doubt my father. And I don't doubt the wisdom of his plan. Though he crush me, still I will praise him. Got it? His plan is the only way to make right what for so long has been wrong. It's the only way to draw all men to God, to break the curse that you brought into this world with your rebellion. It's unbreakable. Oh, really? Don't you see? I go to make all things new. All things. You thought it was difficult to find and uproot the divine seed before when it was planted in one tribe. Wait until it is transplanted and multiplied in every tribe of the world. I go to the cross to make all things new. And the spirit of power in me that gives me the strength to die 
will raise me again and then I will breathe on the children of God. That same spirit will inhabit them and they will have power. They will have the power to finally say no to you. To once for all say no to you. And when you shed their blood, the blood will water the divine seed and a hundred more plants will grow. You'll have troublesome weeds all over your garden and those weeds will never be eradicated. Weeds. Trees. Remember Psalm 1? Deeply rooted, planted by streams of water that will bear much fruit. So you go ahead with your ingenious plans and I will go ahead and accomplish the will of heaven. I gladly go to my cross. It's nothing. I will be a curse and a byword. Heap on my name all the shame that you would. I scorn it. I scorn all of it. I glory in it. For my defeat will be the very wisdom. My defeat will be the victory of God. Guards, it's time. I've heard enough. Make him hurt! <laughs>